Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how you can set up Google Ads Enhanced Conversion Tracking for your Shopify store with Google Tag Manager, okay? To set up Google Ads Enhanced Conversion for your Shopify store through Google Tag Manager, first you need Google Tag Manager account and I believe you can easily create Google Tag Manager account and if you don't know how to create Google Tag Manager account, then please check my video description. I will put there my previous video link so you can easily create Google Tag Manager account by watching my previous video. Okay, so I assume you have already Google Tag Manager account and after create Google Tag Manager account, you have to connect Google Tag Manager account with your Shopify store. So this is my Shopify store. It's a demo website. So I assume it's your real website. Okay. And now we need to connect Google Tag Manager account with our Shopify store. Before connect Google Tag Manager account, we should create conversion in Google Ads. So this is my Google Ads account. And if you click on uh, goals and then select summary, you can see it's kind of like this on your site so first we need to create some conversion in google ads then we can set up this conversion in google tag manager okay to create google ads conversion tracking first create conversion in google ads so click create conversion action and then you can see here is a uh, like some option but we need to just click on this edit option and here you need to paste your real website url so this is my website so i can just copy this website url and just test here okay then click on scan and here you can see uh, like uh, no tag found for this account set up google tag to start measuring conversion then just select skip and set up later because we'll do it later and scroll down click save and continue and here you can see <coughs> some category for conversion action this is our e-commerce website so we have to first select purchase because it's our important action uh, that we need to track then click on add conversion action our website and select create a manual event then here you need to write your event name like this is our purchase event so i can write here purchase for sales and now I can add here like GTM so I can remember this is this conversion tracking by GTM and then use event then click save and continue okay and if you want you can uh, create another some uh, conversion action like add to cart check out this kind of an uh, action so this is our only purchase conversion so let's first set up for purchase conversion then everything is same so just select use tag manager here you can see we found conversion id and conversion level now our job is connect this account i mean go, uh, google tag manager account with our shopify store to connect it first click on this option here you can see uh, you find here header section code uh, i mean usgtm container code you have to just copy your container code then log in your admin panel i mean your shopify admin panel then select online store and then select themes here you can see some option just click on three dot icon and click edit code okay oh. <clears throat> okay after that you can see here is the header section i mean opening head tag here you have to just paste this your uh, header section code and then if you press ctrl plus f you can find easily another tag that is our body tag and click on enter here you can see this is our opening body tag and we can paste here another gtm code that we got from here like this is the body section code so copy this code and just paste here okay our job is done almost yeah now it's connected i mean our google tag manager connected with our shopify store to make sure it's connected or not you can just simply go preview mode and here you have to paste your website urls as you know so just paste your code and just click on connect if you see here is connected that means your gtm properly connected with your website okay now you can see tag assistant is connected so if i go here we can see here is already connected that means gtm properly connected with our website perfect okay so now we need to connect google ads conversion tracking with our website through google tag managers for that click on tags new tag configuration and select here google tag and you can just select triggering all pages also you can select this one okay so i just select all pages and you can write here 
tag name like g adds config tag and here you have to put your g adds conversion id so just go here and copy your conversion id and just paste here but before save this you have to just add like this like a w one oh um, like this underscore like this okay yeah perfect now you can save this tag and this tag help you connect google ads with your website okay now we need to create another tag for purchase tag before we create tag we have to first create tigger and before we create tigger we have to enable data layer on our software store because it's a necessary part without data layer enabling you can't pass your product information like your product currency product value transaction id this kind of information you have to pass from your website to google ads to do that first you have to enable data layer on your website and you can check easily your data is enabled or not if you go any like we have to go again preview mode and now we are in preview mode so here we can see some basic data in summary section but if i like accept the cookie and if i go any product page we can see like here we can't see any view item event or if i click on this add to cart option add to cart we should see add to cart event in summary section but we can't see because our site uh, have not enabled data layer yet okay now let's talk about how you can enable data layer to enable data layer i have write data layer code for you so if you go google and search here like shopify data layer data layer ibrahim you can find my latest video on data layer how to enable data layer on a shopify also you can see uh, here is the my article on my website like how to enable shopify data layer 2025 if you open this uh, article here i write totally guidance for you like how you can enable data layer on your shopify store but don't worry i'll show it how you can do that just you have to copy this uh like you have to press this copy button so your full code is copied done now you can just simply go your shopify store backend and click on settings and here select customer event and now you have to click add custom pixel and you can write here some like gtm pixel gtm pixel just click add pixel okay now just remove this code from here and paste my full code that you copy from my website okay and just scroll up like this and here you should see a gtm code so first you have to replace this code with your real code so go your webs uh, tag manager copy your real gtm container id and replace with it okay so i just paste here mm. and just replace your code with it okay so just copy your container id from here and just paste i mean replace it with your real container id yeah it's done now select permission select not require data cells not does not qualify as data cell okay then click on save and just click on connect yeah it's done now if i go like again customer event we should see our pixel is connected oh not yet maybe we have to refresh this space yeah mm, wait a little bit <clears throat> again i think <clears throat> yeah it's connected oh uh, okay i think now our data layer enabling is complete so now again we have to go preview to check our data layer properly working or not so again click on connect and yeah our tag assistant is connected yeah right so here we can see some text even here like if i go any product page oh uh, here we should see view item product in summary section yeah see here the like i b underscore view item and here uh data layer push event we can see our product information can you see 
yeah right okay our data layer enabling is done now we have to create trigger then we can set up tag to create trigger first go trigger section and how we can create trigger before we create trigger we have to first purchase this product for testing purpose when you purchase this product which even fire in some section we should see then we can copy that even named also fun thing is if you go any like inspect <clears throat> and console here you should see also even name okay so i can show you here like this of uh, view item event and if you select object here you can see your all like even uh your all product information yes here your uh, product name price quantity variant this kind of information okay so now if we purchase this product list just remove one and go check out and just put here your information and purchase your product for testing purpose okay our purchasing complete now if i go tag assistant we can see here is the ib underscore purchase event so we can just simply copy this event name like this is the event so just copy your event name and go tag manager go trigger section then select trigger and trigger type uh, type will be custom event and just paste here even name like this and just write here your even name uh, i mean your trigger name and this trigger name is purchase trigger right yeah when our uh, user purchase this product just that time here push this even name and when this push here even name our tag is fire and then google Earth just count it as a conversion okay and now go tag section and select new tag configuration google ads google ads conversion tracking and here we have to paste conversion id that we can collect it from here we can collect from here and just paste here like conversion id and here you can see like input field is conversion label so this is your conversion label for your purchase event i mean your purchase conversion and just paste here this label name and here you can see another three input field conversion value transaction id currency code here we have to assign some data layer variable how we can do that okay now let's see how we can assign a three data layer variable here uh, before we assign here just select our trigger um purchase trigger and then right here your tag name this tag name will be like google ads purchase tag okay google's purchase tag just save your tag <coughs> but remember we have to assign our data layer variable to create data layer variable just go variable section just select new variable configuration select data layer variable and here we have to like we can see purchase event so we need to write here data layer variable name and this variable name will be like value how we can create value data layer variable copy e-commerce this is the object if you know javascript so you can easily understand this is the object so we have to copy e-commerce and enter here dot because we have to pick from here value so i just copy from here data layer uh, i mean e-commerce then copy uh, from here value so just <coughs> paste here value and write here dlb dlb value just save this tag okay okay our one variable creation is done now copy this variable and just rename your variable name like we need also currency right so just write a currency and to pick currency from here just copy currency and just paste here currency this data layer variable will return our currency okay then save this variable two variable creation is done now again copy one it's help you save your time also <laughs> my time okay so now we need transaction id so just transaction dlb transaction id like and copy your transaction id here and just replace with it okay done our three data layer variable creation is done 
now we can go tag section <coughs> and assign with our tag just select pencil icon and conversion value to select just press here and conversion value in data layer variable value okay and transaction id select plus icon select transaction id and currency code this one like dlb currency okay so perfect now as i say this is the google enhanced conversion tracking video right so we have to also see how we can send our customer data to google ads so for that just save this tag our purchase conversion tracking is done but it's a basic setup but if you want to set up enhanced conversion to set up enhanced conversion you have to pass user information like their name first name last name like wait i can um, show you here you can see some user information like customer email phone street city country like first name last name postal code region this kind of information you have to send google ads through google tag manager how you can do that to send this kind of information we have to create some more variable to pick this information from our customer how you can do that it's very easy just click new data layer variable and select data layer just if you want to pick like only email just select first customer then paste here data layer variable and here dot and copy email and paste here email and just write here dlb like dlb <coughs> email so you can remember this is the email data layer variable and then just copy email and then copy your email variable okay now it will be like dlb phone i mean phone number this is our customer phone number so for that copy phone number same way you have to send street like so copy email variable change street and the rename your variable name yes so almost our data layer variable creation done now we need to create another one variable that is user provided data name so if you use search engine like user user provided data this one here select configuration like as manual just select here your dlb email dlb phone which one this one and here you have to select first name last name street street this one right so then you can just save your variable it's a user provided data now we need to pay uh, like now we need to send this data to google ads through new tag and this is the update for 2025 so let's see how we can make it as enhanced conversion okay for that we have to create another new tag and tag type will be google ads user provided data event select this one and same we have to paste a conversion id so this is our conversion id and paste here your conversion id and from here select user provided data and tigger will be purchased at you can write your tag name but it's not necessary so you can ignore this because this tag will be one for purchase so here you go google ads user provided data even this tag just pass your user information to google ads okay so yeah your google ads enhanced conversion tracking done on your shopify store i hope you enjoyed this video and if you need any help from my side you can contact with me easily I definitely i'll help you if you think this video is helpful for everyone don't forget like comment and share